John 6, great passage. John 6, 1 to 15. You know, uh, Albrecht Drewer, I think that's his name. I can't pronounce German names. There's like a U and a dot or something like that. And, and this dude made woodcuts for Luther's catechism. And in that, he used this passage, John 6, 1 through 15, as the woodcut for the fourth petition of the Lord's Prayer. And of course, we all remember the fourth petition from our catech confirmation days. It's daily bread that God gives us all that we need to support this body and life. You know, good government, good reputation, good weather, faithful neighbors, faithful friends, all these things and the like. Anytime Luther would say and the like, I think he just had to do something. So he's like, ah, you know what I'm talking about. So Jesus has all these people, 5,000, they've been following him. He's been teaching them. He's been casting out demons. He's been healing people. And he says, I, I have compassion. I have this burning, sacrificial love for these people. And I don't want them to go away hungry. So what do we got? What do we got? And they say, oh, we got five, five loaves of bread. We got two fish. We don't have much, not enough to feed all these people. He says, you know, have them sit down in this little oasis, this lovely green place, this grassy place. And he feeds them all with baskets full left over. So what's this teach us? What's this tell us in this lovely season of Lent? That when you're empty, when you feel like there is nothing, God gives in abundance, both body and in spirit. He feeds you spiritually in the Lord's Supper and holy absolution, the gospel proclaimed. He feeds you bodily by giving you clothing and shoes, food and drink, house and home, all these things. He gives to you out of his fatherly divine goodness and mercy without any merit or worthiness in you. That's what he gives you because he loves you. So Jesus gives to you. And if he forgives you and has determined that you will dwell with him forever in heaven, he's not going to ignore you while here below. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have days where you don't believe it. Those, remember those Jacoby type days where you wrestle with God? You're going to have those. But here anew the John 6 promise that there will always be abundance for you, body and spirit. Jesus' love and care never runs out. There's always leftover. There's always more than you need. God bless y'all. See you next time. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.